little uh, thing to ask you if you accept being recorded. Um, then it will be uploaded later um, within 24 hours, 24 to 48 hours on our Microsoft website. Um, we think that you should consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so that you get updates when all of our classes are posted. And also, um, Anything that you make today in class, don't forget to tag Michaels with our hashtags. Hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag Michaels classes when you're sharing pictures of your work on social media. So during class today, you can interact with the instructor and moderators using the Zoom chat function. Um, if you don't want to see the chat during class, you can turn it off in your Zoom settings. We do have closed captioning enabled for this meeting, so you can turn that, um, turn that on in, in your settings under the three dots and then clicking more. Um, let's see, is there anything else I need to give you guys the heads up? If you guys have any technical issues during chat or during class, put it in the chat. I will take care of getting you guys set up, take care of getting that fixed for you. And that is all I have. So I'm gonna turn the time over to Sarah Lovecraft. She's gonna teach us how to make some amazing jewelry today, all right? Hi everybody, welcome in. It is so good to see you. Let me, let's see here if I can I'll, get. I'll pin you so that you are front okay. and center. Sarah, just give me oh, you're good. you for all everyone. Right. Cool. All right, hi everybody, welcome in. It is so good to see all of you. Thank you for letting me be a part of your week. I have a really fun project for you guys today. This is, uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to explain this project to you guys. You're really just going to kind of have to see it to understand it. So I'll be completely honest with you about the way that this project is going to go. First and foremost, we're going to make a pair of earrings and you're not going to need a whole lot to create these. You're just going to need some wire and some of your favorite beads. I've picked out some really beautiful gemstone beads from Michael's to use for this and some beetle on German style wire. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to give you an alternate as far as the wire is concerned. But what I want you to know about this project before we get down and into it is that it is a simple project and it's actually gonna go really, really fast. Like this will probably be the shortest Michaels class you've taken in a very long time. I'm gonna do it twice so that you can see it two times. Um, but even though it is a very simple project, I still struggle with it. And you're probably gonna, you're probably gonna struggle with it at first. Um, just because there are so many twists and turns and it's very easy to get kind of confused and lost, okay? But once you get the hang of it, I promise you, you're gonna be making these earrings like crazy because it's a great way to show off your favorite beads and it doesn't take a whole lot and they're just beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna get you turned around and we're gonna talk about the materials and then we're gonna get right into it. All right, Ooh, knock a bunch of things over. I apologize for that. All right, so for the project, you're really not gonna need a whole lot of things. You're just gonna need, like I said, some wire and some beautiful beads. I'm using some of these purple amethyst agates. Let's see, is that what they're called? Crackle agate in purple. They're so pretty. These are absolutely beautiful. And again, they're gonna be the star get it, pun intended, because there's a star here. <laughs> They're going to be the star of these earrings, but the cool thing is that Michaels has a huge selection of gemstone beads, and any that you pick out are going to work. As a matter of fact, you can even do this with square, like cube-shaped beads. I prefer it with the round beads, um, but you don't even have to use the eight millimeter beads. You can use something smaller if you want to, and you can make adjustments to really kind of change these up. So eight millimeter beads, I'm using these beautiful purple ones. And then you're gonna need an ear wire, of course. Uh, I like to use the Beadalon Leverback ear wires. And you're gonna need a little bit of wire. So in the handout with the instructions, the wire that's listed is a 24 gauge wire. And yes, you can do this with 24 gauge wire, obviously, because that's what's in the instructions. Uh, if that's what you have, use it. However, if you find that you are really, really struggling with this project and you're struggling with keeping a nice tight shape, I encourage you to go up from 24 gauge to a 22 gauge, okay? So if you find that the steps, you've got the steps down, but you just can't seem to keep it nice and tight, go up a gauge and wire, okay? I also encourage you to, number one, don't get frustrated. Number two, use plenty of 
of have plenty of wire on hand to practice because you're going to see it's going to it's going to take a couple of tries before you get this down. That's just kind of the way it goes. But once you get it and it clicks, they're really cool earrings to make. OK, so as far as tools are concerned, you just need the basics, a couple pairs of pliers, some round nose pliers and a cutter tool. That's really all you need for this. Uh, just you know, whatever you've got on hand, you don't need anything extra special, okay? So we're gonna start out with our wire. You need about uh, 14 inches of wire. That might be a little much, but with this project, particularly if you have to unfold some of the wire that you folded, then you do wanna have a little extra, okay? So we're gonna start out, like I said, I'm gonna do this twice so that you can see this because this is gonna go by pretty quickly. But the good news is, is that you definitely can watch this over and over again once it's uploaded to the YouTube channel, okay? So I've got 14 inches of wire and I've got five beads. I'm gonna thread those beads onto the wire and I'm gonna hold them. I only want to, to bring those down about three inches from the end. So I'm gonna thread on all five beads. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, again, I only want them to be about three inches from the end. I'm gonna take this piece of the wire, the short end, and I'm gonna bend it upwards, okay? Then I'm gonna take my long wire and I just kinda wanna bring it around and shorten it up to make a little flower shape with our beads. And if that, moves your short wire a little bit, that's okay too, all right? You just wanna be sure that that short wire is, is kind of facing upwards, okay? All right, now with our long wire, I've kind of hooked it. You can see I've hooked it around the short wire, okay? And I'm gonna bring it to the front and I'm gonna fold it across the top of these beads and I wanna place it between the second and the third bead from the short wire, okay? So every time I tell you the placement, it's gonna be from the short wire on the, on the right. So I wanna place the wire between the second and third bead. So one, two, there's the second bead, there's the third bead. I'm gonna place it between those two, okay? And then I'm gonna turn this over. And when I turn this over, I'm gonna place the wire between the first and the second bead, okay? Then I'm gonna fold it. I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna place the wire this time between the second and third. Okay. And if I mess this up, <laughs> we'll do it again, I promise. Okay, because like I said, I, even I get this, I, even I get this a little confused. Okay, so between the second and third, I'm gonna turn it around or turn it over again. We're gonna place it between the short wire and the first bead. So this time it goes right up here, okay? We're gonna turn over. We're going between the third and the fourth bead, which is three and four. Turn it over, okay? Then we're going <laughs> between the fourth and the fifth bead. So there's four and five. Turn it over again between the fourth and the fifth. Turn it over, okay. The fourth and fifth again. <laughs> Turning it over. And you can actually see the star sh starting to take shape. So now at this point, you really can just place it where you think it needs to go because we really are making a star shape. So remember how when you learned in elementary school how to draw a star, that's really all you're doing with the wire. You just wanna be sure that when you are placing the wire that you're placing it in a place where there isn't already wire. Your wire should never double over on itself. There should only be one piece of wire. Now there will be two between in the beads. But as far as the pathway that that wire is taking, it should be single. There should only be the one. Okay, so we're turning it over again. And now this time we're going between the fifth and the wire. And I'm actually just going to take the wire and wrap it around the, the short wire. Okay, so I know it goes fast. 
a little confusing, but I'm going to do it again so that you can see it again. In fact, I, I have enough wire to do it a second time. We might even do it a third time just because I feel like it's important for you to see it. It goes by so quickly. Okay. But we are going to finish off the earring. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this wire. What I have left, I'm going to wrap it around the short wire about three times. Okay. And then I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to trim off the excess. And then I'm going to come in with my tools and I'm going to make a wrapped loop. Okay. So I'm going to come in with my chain nose pliers. We're going to treat these wire wraps right here, just like they were a bead. In other words, I'm going to place my pliers right up against that last wrap that I made. I'm going to bend the wire over the top of the pliers. I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers and I'm going to take the wire up and over rotate the pliers so that I can take the wire over to the other side. And then I just want to wire wrap in between the wire wraps that we've already made and the loop. So the wire wraps are going to meet up with each other. So I just want to wrap around until I filled in the space. It's going to look pretty seamless. And then I'm going to come back here to the back and trim off. And that's it. You just add your ear wire to this. You can clean this up a little bit, pinch it with your pliers. Okay, so again, that goes really fast. So let's do it again, okay? Let's do it another time so you can see it. I'm not even gonna add the ear wire to this one. We're just gonna, we're gonna practice this a couple times before I let you guys go, okay? So again, I need five beads. So I've got my five beads here. Definitely can be a little confusing at first, for sure. All right, I'm gonna thread on five beads. The, the, I think the hardest part about this is that there's really no going slow to it. You kind of just have to, once you start turning, you gotta keep turning. And that's why I wanna be sure that I do this more than once so you can really see it. So you can see all the turns that I make, okay? All right, so there are my beads. Keep them about three inches from the end. Bring your wires together to make your little flower shape. Okay. You want to take the long wire and kind of bring it to the front. Take your short wire and just bend it upwards. And that helps to hook that long wire. Okay. All right. So again, first step is we want to place the wire between the second and the third bead. Okay. So one, two and there's three, so it's going between those two, across the center here, and then I'm gonna turn this over, and I'm gonna place this wire between the first and the second bead, okay? And then I'm gonna turn it over, I'm gonna place it between the second and third, okay? So one, two, right? We're back here between the second and third again, turning it over, and this time I'm going between the wire and the first bead. Okay. okay. Then I'm gonna turn it over again. I'm going between the third and the fourth. Try to hold it straight so you can see. Okay, going between the third and the fourth. Turning over. We're going between the fourth and the fifth. Turning it over. And again, between the fourth and the fifth, turn it over. Between fourth and the fifth again, turning it over. And then we're going down here between the, the I'm sorry, the third and the fourth, and then back up here to the top. And when we get up to the top, okay, we're going to take the wire and we're gonna wrap it around about three times. We're wrapping around that short wire. Okay. And I'm holding it pretty tight. That's why I say if you've got, if you're using this 24 gauge wire and you find that you are struggling to hold it all together, if you're using the 24 gauge wire, try going with some 22 gauge wire just to step it up a little bit as far as the structure is concerned. And you might find that it's a little bit easier, but you really can do this with any gauge wire that you want to. It just takes a little bit different 
amount of tension to hold it. Um, each, each gauge is going to give you a little bit different outcome when you're trying to hold it all together, but you do want to keep it in as much of a circle as possible. That's what's really going to give you a really good star shape at the end. Okay. All right. So again, we would come in with our chain nose pliers, grab the wire over the top of those wraps that we already made, bend the wire. We're going to come in round nose pliers up and over rotating the pliers so that I can take the wire over to the other side. And then you just want to wire wrap in that space and meet up, whoops, meet up with the wire wraps that you already have. Okay. And then you just want to come to the back and trim off. And I'll do this one more time. And the last time we'll actually turn it into an earring by adding the ear wire to it. And I'll let you go. I just want to be sure that everybody sees this one can see we're just making up a whole bunch of stars here <laughs> but what's cool is that now that we've made several of them of course now I have two pairs of earrings but um you could also use these as like charms you could use them as you know some little dangles on a necklace like there's a lot of a lot of things you can do with this and if you make the beads or if you pick out beads that are smaller than eight millimeter you definitely can have some really cool charms and you could fill up an entire bracelet with these so you've got options I'm hoping to inspire you as well as teach you how to make these little stars so let's make one more and then we will, we'll call it done, okay? So I'm gonna take five more of my beads. Okay. And I'm gonna use another 14 inches of wire. Okay. I'm going to thread five beads onto the wire. Okay. Now we just want to bring those down just a few inches from the end. Okay. Just so that you've got enough to do your wire wrapping at the end. We're going to take the long end of the wire, kind of cross it over. And we're just bringing everything up to make ourselves a little, a little circle of our beads. And you can see I'm pulling those pretty tightly. Okay, whoops, pulling them pretty tight. I'm going to take the long wire and kind of bend it to the front just for a second. Just hold on to it. Take the shorter wire and bend it upwards. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little flower shape. Okay. Taking the wire across the top, I'm going between the second and third. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going between the first and the second. Turn it over. We're going between the second and third. Turn it over. We're going between the short wire and the first bead. Turning it over, we're going between the third and the fourth. Turn it over, we're going between the fourth and the fifth. Turn it over. Again, between the fourth and the fifth. Turn it over. The fourth and the fifth again. Turn it over. This time we're going between the third and the fourth. And then when we turn it over, we're going back up here to the top. Okay. And then just take that wire and you want to wrap around the short wire two or three times just to secure. Oops. Okay. And then you want to come to the back and trim off. It doesn't make any difference what the, which one is the front. I saw that question go by. It doesn't matter what you consider the front. Um, a lot of times I don't really even de de decide what's the front until after I'm done. And then I look at it and I'm like, well, that star looks a little cleaner than that star. So really you can just decide after you're done wrapping the wire around. Because both sides are gonna look pretty much the same, but you might find that one of them is just a little cleaner than the other. <laughs> All right, so now, 
I'm going to come in with my chain nose pliers. Spin the wire over the top of the chain nose pliers, coming in with my round nose pliers, going up and over, rotate, take the wire over to the other side, and then I'm going to wire wrap and just meet up with the wraps that are already there. Come to the back and trim off. And tidy those up a little bit with your pliers. Turn it around here to the front, and then you're going to add your ear wire to it. All right, so all I'm going to do is just open up the bottom of my ear wire, attach that to my loop, and I'm done. And that's it, you guys. Now, again, I'm, I, I'll be the first to tell you, it's an easy project, but it can be a confusing one. But once you get it, you're good, right? So you'll see, you'll be working these up pretty quickly. And what's cool, again, is that you can change up the size, you can change up the, the gauge of the wire um, and use them for things other than earrings. But they are a great way to show off your favorite gemstones or just your favorite beads in general without the wire distracting. So it's cool. Yes, there's a star there. It makes a great little pattern. But one, the beads and the wire are not fighting with each other for the attention, right? You've still got the best of both worlds as far as the wire work and the gemstone is concerned. All right, so I'm going to turn you guys around. I'm going to show you what these look like from a different point of view, and then I'm going to let you guys go. All right. Like I said, this was a quick and easy, but I definitely think it's a cool project, and I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. So I'm going to put one of these on so you can see what they look like. See, even with the eight millimeter beads, they're not very big. They're definitely not very heavy at all, but you can change those up if you need them to be smaller. And you can change the color of the wire if you wanted to do these in a gold color or copper or hematite, you could definitely change it up. Um, and you can make each one like the beads a little different. If you wanted to do different colored beads, that would be cool as well. So, Oh, you guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's project. Don't forget, you can watch this on replay in about 24 to 48 hours over on the Michaels YouTube channel. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed already. There's a ton of great projects there. And that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be with you guys again soon with another fun project. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye, guys.